Hi. Um, it's funny how at Euro 2016, England fans are so boisterous and loud and mad when they drink. The Russian hooligans poured vodka and so on. And their ultra culture and so on. Had to build up in the woods and so on. For situations of confronting fans of our countries at a tournament like the US. <coughs> and I bet those hooligans would be out in force. His wing leaders at the World Cup and the next Euros in Germany and the World Cup after that. The more pressure we put on their country when it comes to Ukraine, the more angry we can make their people. Then you know how that's going to happen. Because the Ukraine business before the Euro 2016 with Crimea, that caused the Russian hooligans. Putin only had them um, locked up for the duration of the Euros and released them afterwards. So I'm basically saying that like how our fans just ran away, scared, got battered all over the, over the streets of France. Because Russian Russians hit the gym more than they drink. They have these fight clubs. They have these Hugan networks. Now, I'm not encouraging anything. I'm not encouraging anything. I'm just saying how it, the facts are here. And how English fans it hard and then realize they're not even half of Russian hooligans and in a way it's a great shame because in the past in the history like in medieval times and so on I'm sure we were harder people more manly but Showing, and also, of course, the Ukrainian men will look us look less. So, so I don't encourage violence at football tournaments at all. I think everyone should go in peace, watch the country win, leave in peace, respect all nationalities and all races. But if there's self defence, then obviously you've got to defend yourself. But I don't encourage other than that. We need to drink, drink cheerfully. If you can't drink and respect other nationalities and races, then don't go to a tournament. The amount of nationalism and racism to the Euros towards foreign countries and foreign players are pitting against England. It's like these people you need to be have their brain minds erased and brains erased and you start from kindergarten and go right through the system that will actually help the country erase this problem or something. That's the reality. You know? That's the reality. How someone with a few more or dozens more brain cells think. Because what UEFA and FIFA aren't going to let England host a football tournament for the next 24 years at least after what happened at Wembley during the final Euros. And it's a hooligan problem's come back because people are celebrating Brexit. And saying we got a country back, all this shit. This is so stupid, nationalist, and boring. And then, 
And then they're going to ruin the chance of us hosting another tournament in 24 years. And they're probably the signs up to be as bad. Yeah. Be territorial or territorial. Ter what the fuck can call it? Be a club. Against other clubs, not nationalities or races. So. I completely condone what happened at Wembley, of course I do. I condone these English thuggish racist songs of how many German bombers and shit like that. I just think, how sad and dumb are you? Right, thanks, I'm out. Cheers, bye.